because I can't see out of my eye, what do I see? Is it like this? If you thought that was the answer, nope. Hello you, I hope you're good. So there's a lot of new people here, so yes, I have a fake eye. Yes, it comes out like this. <gasps> Oh my god! But I recently had a video kind of pop off and a lot of you have a lot of questions and you're putting questions in every single video of mine. You're making sure that you ask those questions. So I thought it'd be really cool to just do a Q&A video. I can't believe I actually haven't done this. But anyway, yes, follow me today while I answer some of these questions. You're actually going to come with me today. I'm going to work at my friend's house while we make this video. How did I lose my eye? I have a whole bunch of videos about my eyes, but basically in a nutshell, I lost my eye when I was two years old to a form of cancer called retinoblastoma and the only way to get rid of the cancer was to get rid of the eye so just before my third birthday I had my eye removed and I have had a fake eye ever since but if you want to know more details about that I have a whole video about it the next question is can I cry from this eye um yes it, you cry from your tear ducts not your eye socket this eye actually cries a lot more than the other eye it always gives me, gives me away when I'm upset. <laughs> so now we're on lunch break. <laughs> this is Petra's. This is, oh, Frosty, goodbye. <gasps> Frosty, <laughs> hi. Do I do my makeup before I put my eye in or after? So I always do it with my eye in because obviously, I need a hard surface to do eyeliner on or else it's just gonna be just weird. <laughs> How do I care for my eye? So it's actually pretty straightforward. It kind of just stays in the socket for most of the time. but And then I just clean it with a cotton pad or whatever during the day or in the morning and at night time if I've got any makeup on it or any eye gunk. <laughs> then I just clean it with that and then once every month or if I'm changing the eye out, I will just run it under some water and wash it with a cotton pad again and then just pop it back in and it's really quite simple. It's actually a lot easier than contact lenses which I wear in this eye. Does my eye hurt? Ah! Ow! No, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt at all. Especially because the eye is moulded to your socket shape so it's actually really comfortable and it doesn't hurt to take it in or out. Oh my god, my eye, my eye. <laughs> it's fine. Can I see through my eye? Now this question does make me a bit confused. Do you think I'm like mad eye moody? Of course I cannot see through this eye. There is no sight, completely blind. This question always, always baffles me, honestly. You know, fair enough. There's not much education on fake eyes, but no, I am not mad eye moody. This does not have any seeing powers. What is it made out of? So they're kind of made out of an acrylic. They're not glass and they're very, very durable. You can just be like, <coughs> drop it anywhere. Woo! <laughs> and it's totally fine. I have never ever in my life had an eye break on me. Um, so they are very, very durable. Let's just put this back in before Petrus's mum <laughs> comes in here and is like, what? This is a good question. Because I can't see out of my eye, what do I see? Is it like this? If you thought that was the answer, nope. I don't see anything. Nothing. Zero. There is nothing I see out of this eye. And I do not know how to explain it. And even my brain can't comprehend it. But I don't see black. I don't see anything. I think the best way I've heard it described is imagine seeing out of your elbow. You can't see anything out of your elbow, can you? That 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 is exactly what I see on this side. It's just nothing. And that always just blows my mind. Sometimes I'll just randomly remember, I'll like wake up and I'll randomly remember, wow, I can't see anything on this whole side of my face, on this whole side of my body. Okay, I am back home now and the next question is does my socket get dry? I think we kind of like went over this a little bit But no, it, it doesn't really get that dry unless I have allergies and then it gets really itchy Like I'm, I sometimes I'm allergic to my cats or I'm allergic to flowers um, Then it can get really dry and itchy and then sometimes I have to wear an eye patch So I don't rub it or get anything else in the eye to make it even more infected because it gets infected if you start rubbing it But usually day to day, it's not dry. Um, the socket is self-cleaning it, it lubricates itself a lot so actually it's kind of embarrassing sometimes um i'll get like eye gunk because it's cleaning itself out a lot and sometimes i don't realize it's there and then somebody has to tell me or i just like randomly have to get a tissue out and rub my eye like <laughs> like it doesn't make that noise though it doesn't make any noise when you rub it in in movies it makes a noise but 
in real life it doesn't. <laughs> eye collection, how many eyes do I have? I've shown these in a couple of videos, but I'll show you here because that's what we're doing. I currently have this eye, which is by the NHS, and then I have a brown one like this that is from the NHS, and those were... The brown one that matches my other eye, um, I get for free, thankfully. And then this one I paid for by the NHS. This was 160 quid. So this is the brown one that matches my eye. I hardly ever wear this one. And then I have these amazing custom eyes that are by a person called Eye Maker. I have a video trying all of these in. The pink one and this one and this all black one is my favorite. But for number of eyes, the, the eyes that I currently wear, I have eight eyes. But yeah, if you're interested in seeing all of my eyes, go check out that video. I try them in and I react to them. And then in this box too, I have like gems, like a treasure chest, but I have a bunch of loads of brown eyes that are all my old eyes from when I was a kid, from when my sockets changed. This one's really cool because the paint has faded. Look how the paint has faded on this one, it's really cool. But yeah, I have loads of brown eyes from when I was a kid. So that's another question I get asked a lot is how often do I have to have the eye changed? And now that I'm older, it's about every eight years on the NHS. Obviously, if I want to get a new custom eye, then I can get it whenever I want. But on the NHS, it's around every six to eight years that we get it changed. But my eye socket doesn't change that much anymore but when obviously when I was younger I'm growing and my face shape changes and your eyeball never grows but the socket around your eye kind of changes so that's why I had to get changed a lot so I'm super lucky in the UK um, you can get them for free on the NHS but then like I mentioned it's 165 pound for a custom one like this on the NHS but for the fun custom eyes I have been really really privileged um, these were gifted to me I didn't have to pay for them I actually don't know how much they cost but I know they're not cheap and I know in the US it's not cheap to get these eyes um, so I'm so so thankful for the NHS for that I feel like people sometimes are just like oh my gosh go get this eye go get this eye get a light up eye do all this do get a gold eye next and yeah maybe but also like it takes time and it's a lot of money you can't just go get an eye you can't make it yourself you have to have a specialist make the eye for you you can't just like make your own mold and just put whatever in your eye because it's gonna get infected and actually can be really dangerous next question is how do I see how's my depth perception am I used to like seeing out of one eye yeah I because I've had this since I was two years old so I'm so used to not being able to see out of one eye but sometimes like I can be really clumsy I can bump into things on this side I can't see at all on this side as a dancer it was really difficult to do balancing and spins a lot it took me a longer time to learn that and even when I'm learning new physical skills it can take me slightly longer to learn but that doesn't mean that I still can't be good it just takes me a little bit longer but in general day-to-day -day life I'm so used to it I just kind of now forget unless sometimes I'm in like a really really busy area and sometimes it can actually make me really kind of withdrawn because I can't there's so much to compute and and see like not see from this side uh, another question was how does it feel when you put it in like is it cold is it warm it depends on the temperature of the room and the temperature of the water I've used to wash it if you use cold water it's gonna be cold when you put it in if your hands are warm or the room room is warm it's just gonna be normal temperature um but once it's in your eye it doesn't really change temperature like even when it's super cold outside it doesn't change to the weather outside it's just it it keeps your body warm <laughs> another question i get asked a lot is do i take my eye out to sleep of course i go like this and then i pop it in the water no 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 i don't i don't because if i did then all the dust and everything is going to get into my eye I sleep with my eye in. Um, I don't think I know anyone with a fake eye that sleeps with their eye out, but if you do, let me know. And, and why? Before we end this video, I wanna talk about boundaries because I feel like it's okay, a lot of you are new here and you don't really like maybe have thought about this. I've noticed a lot of you are asking eye questions on videos that have nothing to do with my eyes. Rule of thumb is if the video is about my eyes, go ahead, ask questions. That's literally why I'm making these videos to normalize it and educate people about it. But when I'm doing like a singing video, for example, or something that is totally irrelevant to my eyes, I find it 
quite rude. <laughs> I, it makes me feel really uncomfortable because I'm like, hey, yes, I have this cool thing about my eyes, and that's cool, and but that's not everything about me. There's other sides to me as well, and it, it feels really disheartening when you put something up that you've made that you're creative about or you feel really inspired about, and then the majority of the comments are like, does your eye feel cold when you put it in your socket? <laughs> you know, like, would you, like, for example, would you go up to a singer after singing on stage and the first thing you ask them is, Does it hurt when you take your eye out? No, you probably wouldn't. You wouldn't go up to somebody in real life and just randomly ask that when they're doing something completely irrelevant. So please just bear that in mind <laughs> when you're online as well. And that goes for other disabled people as well online. If you see somebody else who is disabled online, make sure that they're okay with these questions being asked and no you don't get a pass if you say sorry if I'm being rude like that if you if you already if you're saying that then you then if you feel like you're already being rude or you're apologizing for being rude you probably are being rude that's the general rule of thumb but yeah I'm still very happy that you're all curious and that you're all here it's actually really cool that everybody has so many questions um, and I'm really grateful that you feel um, so open to ask them but just yeah keep them for the eye videos <laughs> another thing before I love you and leave you if you want to know more about me make sure to subscribe I'll be doing more eye videos of course but I do other things as well in the future I'm gonna be doing more vlogs I also make music I'm a performer and I just do a bunch of really fun stuff and I like to connect with you all so yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your questions thank you so much for all being so amazing and cool on the shorts it's made me feel really really positive about being a disabled person and I feel like it's a great step in representation towards disability and you are all being so nice and sweet and open and I really, really appreciate it. And if you do have any more questions, put them in the comments below and I will see you all later. Bye.